Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and today is August 6, 2023. This is day six of my German tour, Euro Trip 2023. And I'm back in St. Pauli at the Millen Tour Stadium to take the Millen Tour Museum and Stadium Tour. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to take pictures or video. I don't know if the tour is going to be in English or in German, but either way, it's going to be awesome. So come along and join me on this episode of the most epic adventures. This is where, this was my section for the match last night. Museum entrance is over here. People are already waiting. But this is where I came in. I couldn't vlog the game because um, I was in a supporter section. And you can't really do that in the supporter section. It really, in any game, in any league, the Surge were nice enough to let me do it. No, I was there, but there's this guy again. We went up here. My seat was right up here. Hopefully, we'll, we will show you when we go inside if I can take pictures or video. But this was packed full of people yesterday. They're setting up for the Summer Dome. It's the carnival right here. But I'm here like an hour early. Because if you're on time, you're late. So I'm here early. The weather might turn. I did bring my umbrella with me this time. But let's go to the museum, guys. Okay, this is actually the start of the tour slash the end of the museum. Uh, we came in through the backside. This is a miniature version of the Milan tour, and this is some great scenes there. Um, and that's a little version of that little guy. All right, now we are in the concourse of the stadium. Uh, I saw all this stuff yesterday, but it was full of people. And again, I, I couldn't vlog it. Um, and then the, the back there is basically the dry dock. And here we are inside the stadium. Good empty view of the seat. And now here we are by the grass. Do not touch the grass. Don't ever do that at any stadium. And uh, here are the seats where the players sit in. Sit on the bench. Ready to go in. <laughs> all right, this this is all of of a supporter section. So this side of the stadium, uh, the lower portion is all standing room. That is crazy. This is the coolest thing on any pitch in the world. Argue with me. You can't. And uh, this is where the ultras, the ultra, ultra supporters stand behind the goal. They brought it the entire game. Um, and then we were back outside. Some great art on the stadium here. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't believe. There's a lot of great art and there's a lot of stickers everywhere. So, I mean, and then there's that guy again. I don't know, maybe, should I get that guy tattooed on me somewhere? That would be kind of a great tattoo to remember this whole uh, event by. Um, that's a great piece of art too. There's just great art all over the stadium. It's definitely the most colorful stadium I've ever seen. And this is the locker room. This is the actual FC St. Pauli locker room. And yes, it has supporters. All right, I'm gonna get suited up and get in. I'm never gonna get into the game. <laughs> Brothers and homies, St. Pauli, represented in the locker room. Post game beers. <laughs> Only in Germany. Wenn ihr Fotos machen wollt, bitte Foto machen and come back because. Okay, you can have a Worst perspective. literal barrels of Fritz Cola. So this is the kids area. There's no uh, drinking or smoking in the kids area. That's nice. Mitarbeitenden zur Verfügung stellen oder als Presse, äh, als Sache für die können wir da drüben eben die Preise bei den Stehbereichen halten. Dazu gibt es ja... 
this is where the the press said they've got their tables they've got their ethernet cables so they can read their reports great seats for press this is the best seat in the house right here with snacks it's their hospitality area right behind the business seats this is really nice lots of tables Conference. See all the outlets. It's the press with the yeah. press. Einmal daraus bis zu den Fahrstühlen. Look at that flat screen TV. It looks like a big old school TV. Table football. Marketing We have an actual art show in the hallway and QR codes where you can purchase. It helps uh, water conservation, I think. It's an actual game going on, and uh, the building that is amazing. The trees and everything, and it's, it's, uh, it's not quite finished yet, but that's gonna be freaking awesome when it's done. I think this is like a uh, amateur team or something. I don't know. The tour guide doesn't know either, honestly. This is where all the uh, away supporter groups come. And this is a note for the Fortuna fans. Yeah, they leave their, their mark. Unfortunately. And then the next the next game somebody else will take it. So here's the ticket for the, the museum. There's still more to see, guys. So stick around. All right. We are in the museum. And I'm drinking a Fritz Spritz Bio Apple Shore from Fritz Cola. So this tells you the entire history of the museum. Um, it's all in German, but they do have... Um, they do have a way you can download the whole thing on your phone. But this is the founder here, Max Kulik. That's the guy. This is talking about the St. Pauli fans, and their history, the ultras. Influence. It scared me. It's one of their older jerseys. This tells you about the ultras and the politics of the club. Protest at the G20 summit. It's cool why they have the displays on the floor. There you go, some St. Pauli battle vests. 
you're wondering what's metal about this. It's very punk rock metal club. This person's got club patches from all over. It's kind of strange. Oh, and here's a model of the old stadium before they built, they rebuilt it for the for how it is now. This is the bathrooms. These are these actual bathrooms where these mock ups. You can take showers in here. Whoa, defect. Yeah, this is an actual bathroom. I'm filming a bathroom. We saw these stickers all over the stadium. All over the stadium. Fine Laden is the uh, fan clubs. I did have a fan club for St. Pauli, but I couldn't get much, uh, couldn't get people together, so I just kind of ended it. This is what a St. Pauli hangout should look like right here. This is a wall clock. Yeah, like I said, Germans love their clocks, but man, that's cool. That's an old one. There you go. You exit through the gift shop. We actually exited by the model of the current stadium, but we had already seen that. She uh, gave us that at the beginning of the tour. But yeah, here we go back up to the wine store and where you can get more of these. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed going with me on tour of the Milan Tour Stadium and the museum. Um, I got some stickers, um, and they only sold them in packs. So if you want a, you want a sticker from the museum here, leave a comment down, bef down below, and I most likely will send you one because I only need one of each. I think there's like 10 in a pack, so at least 20 or maybe 18 of you guys can get a free sticker from the museum. Um, I know if you're a St. Pauli fan, you'll appreciate that. So uh, I'm going to go on to my next adventure which is uh, changing hotels. I actually have bookings at two different places. Uh, yeah, I'm not staying in the, uh, I'm not staying in the hostel. I'm staying in a place. I didn't want to share a room with five other people. So <sighs> I guess until next time, guys, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventure. several times since I've been here. Probably won't see you again for a long time. So until next time, check out these other videos. Slap that like button, leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Tschüss.